It's 532 on daybreak in just about three hours. Hundreds of businesses, houses of worship and other organizations will be coming together for a first of its kind seminar here in Erie County. The focus is to prevent targeted threats or acts of violence and create safe places. Daybreak's Heather Lee joins us live in the newsroom with why this seminar is needed right now. Good morning, Heather. Hi there, Pete and Melissa. Good morning. According to the Gun Violence Archive, which is a nonprofit that provides near real time data about gun violence across the across America, the US averages two mass shootings a day. So they say something like this is necessary now more than ever. Threat assessments by the Secret Service show that targeted violence is preventable. That's if communities have tools, resources and training to intervene before that violence occurs. Well, the U.S. Secret Service National Threat Assessment Center and the Department of Homeland Security's Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency will be leading today's seminar. Well, they've done presentations like this for schools for almost 20 years. But again, this is the first in our area that will focus on businesses, nonprofits, houses of worship, religious organizations, entertainment venues, and so many more. 550 are registered for today. The majority of them will attend in person at the Buffalo Niagara Marriott, but there's also a virtual component. We're told that there will be reps from the Bills, Key Bank Center, Shays and Catholic Charities. Organizers hope this is a chance for people to build up their contacts, become empowered and be proactive when it comes to stopping violence before it starts. We can't afford uh, to be bystanders. You have to have a system in place that allows you as an individual uh, to know how to respond to a situation where you see perhaps a fellow employee, a vendor, somebody who keeps visiting. How do you kind of bubble that up so that your organization can take a proactive approach relative to maintaining safety? And today's seminar will also feature a vendor fair with businesses and organizations whose focus is on enhancing safety and security. Again, the in-person seminar is at capacity. It begins later this morning at 8 o'clock, but you can still register to be a part of the virtual seminar. It is all free and we'll have much more information waiting for you at WGRZ.com.